Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. In order to apply our filters non-destructively, I'll choose Filter and Convert for Smart Filters. That converts a selected layer or layers into a smart object. Then I'll choose Filter, Stylize, Oil Paint. To remove detail and make the photograph look more like a painting, I'll increase the stylization as well as the cleanliness sliders and disable lighting. The Smart Filter will appear below the Smart Object in the Layers panel. I can click the icon to toggle visibility and double click in order to edit the filter options. Next, I'll add the Diffuse Glow filter to the same image, but first check to make sure under Image Mode that I'm working in 8-bit in order to apply the filter gallery. Then I'll tap the D key to set my default colors because Diffuse Glow uses the background color as the glow. I'll choose Filter, Filter Gallery, use Command-0 in order to zoom out, and then with the Diffuse Glow Filter selected, I'll increase the glow amount, decrease the clear amount, and increase the graininess. When I apply the filter, we can see that it's been added on top of the oil paint in the Layers panel. Changing the stacking order of the filters in the Layers panel will change the order in which the filters are applied. To apply the third effect, I'll switch to the second image and return to Filter Gallery. To see all of the filters, I'll hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, and click the Disclosure Triangle, apply poster edges, increase the edge thickness, decrease the posterization, and to add a second filter, I'll hold the Option key again, Alt on Windows, and click Spatter. I can drag to rearrange the order in which the filters are applied, and if I no longer want a filter, click the trash icon to delete it. Once the filter is applied, I'll double click the adjustment layer icon in order to change either the blend mode or the opacity. And don't forget, you can always paint in the Smart Filter Mask to selectively hide and show the filter.